Hello and welcome to the Snickerdoodle Knits channel. I am Jessica, the knitter and designer behind Snickerdoodle Knits. In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to perform a Pico bind off. This is a decorative bind off that adds a very cute, like embellished edging to the end of your project. It kind of creates an eyelet and a scalloped edge. Here's a photo of one of my shawls that uses a Pico bind off at the very bottom of the shawl. So to get started, we will just bind off the first two stitches in pattern. So just knit one, knit two, and then we pass the first stitch that we knit over the second stitch and off. So that is a bind off of one stitch. So we will knit one more and pass that first stitch on the needle over and off. So now we have bound off two stitches. So now that we have bound off two stitches, we are going to turn our work, which just means basically flipping your work around as if you were going to work on the wrong side now. And we want to cast on two stitches with a cable cast on. So the first stitch you knit into the stitch that is now on your left needle, your what was part of your bind off two stitches. Knit into that stitch and bring it up onto that left needle. So now you have cast on one stitch. Second stitch that we create with a, ca with a cable cast on is come through between the two stitches. Just in that gap between the two stitches. Wrap your yarn around as if to knit. Oops. Wrap your yarn around as if to knit. Pull that stitch through and bring it up onto the left needle. So now we have cast on two stitches with the cable cast on, and we will turn our work again so we're on the right side of the fabric again. Now we will take the middle stitch, the, the second stitch that is on our what is now our right needle, we will pick that stitch up and we will pass it or slide it over the first stitch and off the needle. So now we've bound off one stitch and we will take again this, what is the second stitch onto the needle but the first stitch that we placed on the needle. We will take that stitch and pass it over the other stitch and off the needle again. So now we have one stitch remaining on our right needle and we will redo all of those steps again starting with the bind off of two stitches. So you'll knit one stitch past this original stitch over the new stitch and off the needle. Do that once more, knit into the next stitch and pass the original stitch over the new stitch and off the needle. So now we've bound off two stitches again. And remember the next step is our cable cast on. So we turn our work, we knit into this one stitch that is on the left needle, pulling our yarn through and placing that stitch up onto the left needle. To cast on our second stitch, we go through between those two stitches on the left needle and we essentially knit in that gap. So wrap your yarn around your needle, pulling that yarn through and then bring that stitch up onto the left needle. Now we will turn our work again and we will essentially bind off two stitches here. So we take our middle stitch, lift it up, pass it over and off the needle. Then we take what was our oldest stitch and over and off the needle. And now we're back at our bind off again. So we bind off two stitches. 
And again, that's just knitting through this first stitch on the left needle and then passing the oldest stitch on the right needle over the newest stitch and off the needle. So now that we have bound off two, we turn our work to the other side, to the wrong side, and we knit through this first stitch, our only stitch, on the left needle. Pull that stitch up onto the needle, and then we essentially knit through that gap. So we put our, our needle through, wrapped the yarn around the needle, brought the needle back through, and now we place that stitch up on the left needle. And a lot of times you might have noticed I kind of had that looser as I brought it up here, and then you kind of just pull that yarn tighter. Now that we have cast on two with the cable cast on, we turn our work again and we are going to essentially bind off two more stitches and we just do that by passing the middle stitch over the existing stitch and off the needle. And then we take our oldest stitch, pass it over the newest stitch and off the needle and we're back to one stitch. So of course here we start our bind off two again. So there we bound off one, bound off two, and then we return our work. Oops. <laughs> bound off two, and then we would turn our work and cast on two with the cable cast on and so on and so forth. But here you can start to see what this pico edge is doing. So it's adding extra stitches that create a little eyelet look, and then there's these little edges that bump out. And so then when you're done, a lot of times you like to pin out this pico edge so that it's, it's very noticeable and it lays correctly. I'll go ahead and finish up this edge and show you what it looks like when I'm done. There. Now we have completed the Pico Edge bind off. As you can see, here we have all of these little Pico edges, I guess, <laughs> um, that just create this decorative edge. And it's a very elegant look. Congratulations, you now know how to perform the Pico Edge bind off. I hope you found this video helpful, easy to follow, and informative. If you continue to have questions, go ahead and replay this video at a slower speed. If you continue to have questions, please leave a comment down in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you liked the video, we appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the YouTube channel for additional knitting tutorial videos like this. I hope to see you around. Happy knitting!